Good morning, everyone. I am blessed and highly favored to see another day. All glory, mm, glory, and praise be to my Father God who is the head of my life. Now, with that being said, what I am going to be speaking about is today is the day of salvation. Glory, hallelujah. Today is the day of salvation. Yes, deliverance, set free from sin of, you know, being a slave to your sin, you know, mm, you know, let Jesus, you know, break your chains, you know, say set you free of that, you know, that, that bondage, you know what I'm saying, set you free. It's a, the saving of human beings from death and separation from God. Mm. You shouldn't allow nothing to separate you hey, from God. If so, that is a choice uh, of your own. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to jump in the book of Ephesians, you know, uh, chapter 2, verse 8 through 9. For by grace you have been saved through faith. And this is not your own doing. This is not your own doing. Mm. It is the gift of God, not a result of works, so that no one may boast. Mm. So it is it is not, you know, your works, neither my works, you know, um, it's a so that no one may boast. All right, let's jump in. Um, uh, Titus, uh, chapter three, verse five. All right, he saved us not because of works done by us in righteousness, but according to his own mercy, by the washing of regeneration and renewal of the Holy Spirit. Spirits. Glory, hallelujah. It says, but according to his own mercy by the washing of regeneration and renewal of the Holy Spirit. Glory, hallelujah. Mm, thank you for the comforter, you know, Father God. Mm, thank you. All right, let's jump in the book of Acts, um, chapter 4, verse 12. And there is salvation in no one else for there is no other name under heaven given amongst man by which we must be saved mm. so that name is jesus you know and he is the only one can save you we cannot save ourselves and i'm talking about um you know where would you end up for eternity and many folks they don't you know too much think about that but they should you know what i'm saying that should really heavily you know be on their heart and their spirit and definitely on their mind um you know it's a and there is salvation in no one else for there is no other name under heaven given amongst Man by which we must be saved. Amen. Mm. Man. All right, let's jump in the book of Romans, chapter 10, verse 9 through 10. All right. It says this, because if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. But you must believe. You must believe. It says if you confess. With your mouth. That Jesus is Lord. And believe in your hearts. That God raised him from the dead. You will be saved. For with the heart. One believes. With the heart. Not with your mouth. But with the heart. And is justified. And with the mouth, one confesses and 
is saved. That's the book of Romans chapter 10 verses 9 through 10. Just as it said, for with the heart one believes and is justified and with the mouth one confesses and is saved. Amen. So you must confess with your mouth and you must believe. You know, you got to have faith, small as the mustard grain seed, because it's impossible to please God without faith. But it's not by a faith alone, but you must have works. All right, uh, let's jump back in the book of Acts, uh, chapter 16, verse 30 through 33. All right, then he brought them out and said, Sirs, what must I do? What must I do to be saved? And they said, believe, there go that word again, believe in the Lord Jesus and you will be saved, you and your household. And they spoke the word of the Lord to him and to all who were in the house, all of them, all of them that was in the house. And he took them the Yep, and he took them the same hour of the night and washed their wounds, and he was baptized at once in all his family. <clears throat> so not only him, and he took them Yep, the same hour of the night and washed their wounds and he was baptized. So you must be baptized. You know, it say at once he and all his family, every last one of them was baptized in Jesus name. And there would never, you know, on this earth, you know, be another name that you must be baptized in. And that's Jesus. You know what I'm saying? My Lord and Savior, which is your uh, Lord and Savior. All right. And uh, Jesus Christ proclaimed, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one, no one, no one comes to the Father but through me. So you must be baptized and, you know, in Jesus name and born again. Just as he said you know, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but through me. You know, um, like I said, that's the book of John, chapter 14, uh, verse 6. Uh, the apostles echo this claim, stating, and there is salvation and no one else. There is no other name under heaven that has been given amongst men by which we must be saved. All right, that's the book of uh, Acts, uh, chapter 4, verse 12. So, hey, Jesus, 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 Jesus. Amen. All right, now I'm going to jump in the book of First Peter, chapter 1, verse 8 through 9. Through you, uh, no, nah. so though you have not seen him, you love him. Though you do not now see him, you believe in him and rejoice with joy that is impressibly and feel, yeah, impressibly and feel with glory obtaining the outcome of your faith, that salvation of your souls. Mm. Amen, amen. With glory, obtaining the outcome of your faith, the salvation of your souls. Amen. And uh, the book of Acts, chapter 2, verse 38. This is one of my, um, you know, my favorite verses. And Peter said to them, repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness, um, this is the uh, ESV version I'm reading, but for the forgiveness, which is, um, you know, remissions 
of your sins, um, which is, I got the King James uh, version for the, you know, remission of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy A. Spirit. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. The gift of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. And that's what he told them. You know what I'm saying? Peter told all of them, you know, and he told them, you know, you must repent. You know, you have to repent from your sins and turn away from them. Turn away from what is evil, you know, what is wicked. You know, turn away from that darkness. Kick that darkness out of your life and walk in God more than his light. Be holy for God uh, is holy. You know, you can't be no other way. Because God is love and God is holy, right? All right, be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. And now, the book of Romans, uh, chapter 1, verse 16, and it's uh, another um, favorite verse of mine. For I am not ashamed of the gospel, for it is the power of God. It is the power of the power hey, of God for salvation to everyone who believes. There go that word again. Who believes to the Jew first and also to the Greek. So you must have faith and you must believe. Walk by faith and not by sight. You know, for I am not ashamed of the gospel for it is the power of God. For salvation to everyone who believes, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. Amen. Yes. Uh-huh. And uh, I am going to be uh, down in the study section. I'm going to be reading um, in the book of Acts chapter 2, verse 38 through 39. All right. To repent of your sins means to turn from them, to change the direction of your life. From selfishness and re rebellion against God's law. At the same time, you must turn to Jesus Christ, depending on him for forgiveness, mercy, guidance, and purpose. Forgiveness, mercy, guidance, and purpose. We cannot save ourselves. Only God can save us. Baptism identifies us with Jesus and with the community of believers, the community of believers, it is a condition of discipleship and a sign of faith. You know, that's why it is, it's, you know, it's impossible to please God without faith. You must have faith. You know, this, this is, um, you know, uh, you know, required, you know, um, mandatory for us to believe and mandatory for us to have faith. Amen. And mandatory for us to get baptized in Jesus' name for the remission of our sins. Um, yeah, it is a condition of this, uh, yeah, condition of discipleship, discipleship, and a sign of faith. All right. Um, all right. This is the book of Acts uh, four twelve. Many people react negatively to the fact that there is no other name than the name than yeah the name of Jesus to call on for salvation. You know, yet this is not something the church decided. It is the specific teaching of Jesus himself. It is not something that the church decided, but is uh, the specific teaching of Jesus himself. If God um, this, yeah, designated yeah, Jesus to be the savior of the world, no one else can be his equal. No one else can be his equal. Christians are to be open-minded on many issues, but not on how people are saved from, from sin. No other religious teachers could die for our sins. No other religious teachers is God only son who came to earth. No other religious teacher has risen from the dead. Our focus should be on Jesus, the one whom God provided as the way as yeah, the way to have an eternal relationship with himself. There is no other name or way. 
there is no other name or way to get in the kingdom of heaven. You know what I'm saying? Which is God, you know, dwelling place, you know, God's kingdom. So, uh, yeah, uh, God provided uh, as the way to have an eternal relationship, eternal relationship, an everlasting relationship with, you know, himself. There is no other way. And yeah, no other and no other name. So, all right, this is um, the um, the book of Romans, uh, chapter one, verse sixteen. And uh, down in the second section, this is what it says: Paul was not ashamed of the gospel. The apostle Paul, he wrote the uh, book of Romans. Um, uh, yeah, he wasn't ashamed of the gospel, the good news about Christ, because he knew. That it was true and that it could not be refuted by even the brightest minds of Greek or Roman culture. He had a message of how the world really worked. Of the true story of humility. It is the message of salvation. The message of salvation. God's rescue plan for all people. When you feel embarrassed to be a Christian, remember what the gospel is all about. If you focus on the reality of God transforming and life changing power in the world rather than on your own independency, you will find the confidence you need to boldly speak about the faith. Amen. It is God rescue plan. For all, when you feel embarrassed to be a Christian, I would never feel embarrassed to be a Christian. I am persec uh, persecuted all the day long, and it's cool. You know what I'm saying? I take the lashes on my back for my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Remember what the gospel is all about. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, God is... 365 non-stop just peace music ent ministries hey i'll catch y'all on the next one hey today is the day of salvation repent you know what i'm saying repent and turn away from your sins and keep your foot on that stupid devil throat each and every day beating them down with the word you know beating them down beating them down with the word you know beating, beating that devil down with the word you know what i'm saying turning that fool into a clown because that's what he is the devil is a stupid clown. Peace.